everyone and welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should buy an Intel or an AMD CPU. We're pitting them head to head and we're going to see which one is going to be better depending on your specific use case. But before we get on into the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. We also do tons of awesome PC build guides here, so I'm sure you'll like that and you can check some of those out in the description as well as at the eye up there. Also, be sure to check out any and all of the CPUs you want to buy, whether it's AMD or Intel, on Amazon via the links down below. If you go down there and buy anything on Amazon through those links, it does help support us. Thanks to them for allowing us to make that happen. Now, which one is better, an AMD processor or an Intel processor? Well, Let's get into it. We're going to start off here with value. And as far as value goes, AMD has typically throughout history been cheaper than Intel. And this is still true today. On the low end, there's about a $10 difference between Intel and AMD. AMD being about $10 cheaper for their dual core small base end processors compared to Intel's low end two core base processors. But the real difference starts to appear when you start moving on up the ladder some. So let's say we get to the Threadripper 1900X and compare it to its Intel competitor, the i7-7820X. The price difference here is $150. You're getting the same amount of cores, similar clock speeds, and more cash on the freaking AMD processor for $150 cheaper. That is absolutely insane, guys, and props to AMD for pricing their products lower and more affordable for people. Now, the AMD chip isn't all great here, though, if you were using this example, that i7 versus that Threadripper processor, that one is going to use 40 more watts of power. And while you might have a power supply that can support it, the real issue here is heat. That's a lot freaking hotter than the Intel processor, so you're going to need a way to dissipate that. Now, I'm not saying you're going to have to water cool every AMD processor here. I'm just saying it's something to think about, especially if you're packing it into a smaller form factor. That much heat being put out is a big freaking deal. With that being said, though, as you can see on your screen right now, this chart really shows it. For a cheaper price, AMD Threadripper CPUs have higher base clocks and a large amount of shared cash, all while consuming more power and having lower high-end peak clock speeds than the Intel X-Series chips that they would compare to, right? So if you're looking at the Intel X-Series chips and the AMD Threadripper chips, they are overall running lower high clock speeds, right? What their max clock speed is, and they are consuming a lot more freaking power. Like a lot more freaking power. It's kind of crazy. So what does that mean for you? Well, overall, AMD and Intel are making processors that perform very, very closely to each other on every single front. Price, performance, everything. It is very, very close between these two processors. Intel chips typically give a better performance per core, right? So you're going to have better performance on each individual core on an Intel processor. But AMD is making up for this by offering more cores for the same price. While also adding in more shared cash between all of those processors. Sometimes up to double the shared cash for the processor there, which is freaking crazy. So if budget's your biggest factor, AMD still is your best choice. And that's why with my budget build, you see me putting more and more and more and more and more AMD processors in these systems. They're better for your budget and can give you similar performance to Intel most of the time. But what if your main focus is gaming? Well, I'm just going to assume that if your main focus is gaming, that you're going to have a dedicated graphics card to game really, really well with the best performance possible possible, you're going to need a dedicated graphics card. Whether it's NVIDIA, whether it's AMD, doesn't matter, you're going to need one. So I'm going to assume that you've got one. And with that assumption made, Intel typically dominates gaming performance simply because the differences between AMD and Intel and how their processors are made. AMD CPUs are great at multi-threaded workloads and great at running programs that support multiple cores. Intel, however, offers almost the reverse of that, losing out in heavily multi-threaded workloads, but excelling in more restricted thread settings. This comes back to gaming because games still rarely use more than two to four threads at a time. They're just not not 
gotten to the point to where most people have more than that, so there's no reason a game would use more than two to four threads. Because of that, Intel gets the edge when it comes to gaming, specifically when you're looking at the six core sort of processors there between AMD and Intel. So overall, if budget is your biggest factor, which I can definitely understand if it is, AMD is probably going to be your best bet. You're going to get pretty good performance and you're going to get it at a much lower price compared to Intel. However, if being able to perform well in games is your number one priority, an Intel processor is going to work great for you edging out AMD in gaming pretty much all of the time right now. This could change over time, but that's how it sits right now. So I'm going to pass this question on to you. Which would you buy, an AMD processor or an Intel processor? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't argue too much down there, but I think it's already getting pretty crazy. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome tech videos like this on PC gaming, PC parts, PC hardware, all that stuff every single day of the week. My name is Nick. Again, this has been The Breakdown Tech, and I am out, guys. Peace.